Hi friends, welcome to the course on importing data in a Python. So this is the first video lecture series on a course importing data in a Python. So in this course we are going to see about how one can import a different data type or different data available at a various location on either on internet or on a database or on your local hard drive and different kind of file you can import into Python. So what do you mean by importing data? Importing data means nothing but or reading data so in this course we are going to see about various different kinds of file how you can read into python programming language the base programming language we are going to use that is nothing but the python in this course and we are going to use lots of different kind of library like numerical python library data analysis pandas library plus machine learning related scikit learn kind of library so before dive into why it is importing data or reading data is required so if you see any standard block diagram of data analysis process in the case of data analysis process if you see before doing any kind of operation like a data cleaning data munging or applying any machine learning algorithm on the top of it you need data and how that data is available to you in a python programming language for that you need to import those data in short you need to read those data that's why this importing data before doing any kind of manipulation on the top of data you require to import this data you need to read those data so let's see where this data is available and how that data is been distributed now on your local machine that may data may be available in a form of file it may be available in a different database like mysql kind of relational database system or any neo4j kind of graph database system or mongodb kind of no sql database system or data will be available on your web in the form of public repository or in the form of different web pages it will be available in the form of web api which is been exposed by the google facebook and twitter kind of company to expose their data so you can extract those data into through web api or it will be available in a form of file but the file will not be available at your local hard drive but it will be available somewhere at a remote location so data is available at a various different place and data is available in a form of various different kind of form so in this course we are going to see about how you can import all those kind of file from the different different mechanism and from the different different library in a python and you can import those thing into python programming language so what kind of file we are going to deal in this course so let's see about first one is a plain text file it will be available in a form of flat file also the common acronym for the dot csv which is nothing but the common acronym comma separated value and a tab separated value this is one of the very uh, most favorite file by the data scientist people it will be available in a form of matlab a very famous uh, software by the matrix laboratory company it will be available in a form of excel file you can read about the database file like a sqlite or a no sql database kind of file it will be available at a some remote location like a in a form of dot json or dot xml format or it will be available in a dot html format and you can do all kind of operation like a scrapping on the top of it or it will be available in a form of web api so in this course we are going to see about all those kind of file and how you can import into python so happy importing all those kind of data into python programming language in the next tutorial we are going to see all those individual files we are going to import what that file is all about how that is useful to different different kind of uh, database and how and what kind of python programming library you can use to import it so that's it for this lecture friends uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video